Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Virgo. Uh, this is going to be for your July 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going to take a look at someone that you're dealing with um, or was dealing with, thinking of. Why did this person do this to you? So we're going to take a look and see what this person did to you and then we'll finish off the read to see why they did it and what else you guys need to know. So apply this to your own unique, uh, unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on um, when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, what else? If you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do post readings on there too. Okay, so tell me about uh, Virgo. The person that Virgo is dealing with, was dealing with, thinking of, what did this person do to Virgo? What did this person do to Virgo? What did this person do to Virgo? For July 2023, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Virgo. What did this person do to Virgo? What did this person do to Virgo? We have the Ten of Wands. It seems like this Ten of Wands in the reverse. I feel like this person completely dropped you like a hot potato here. Yeah, no warning, nothing, didn't say anything. Just seems like this connection just ended abruptly here. The death card, Scorpio energy, okay? Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Uh, you might even have Scorpio in your chart. We have the King of Pentacles here and the Seven of Pentacles. Whoever this is, you know, to be quite honest here, I don't really feel like anything, like I, anything was going to come out of this situation here. I just feel like it wasn't really going anywhere. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I just feel like this person just didn't do the right thing and sit down and, and, and sit, uh, sat down and had this conversation with you. Instead, they just dropped you. Yeah, just dropped you. Um, we have the Ace of Swords here and the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. I feel like you're trying to find out the truth as to why this person dropped you. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like eventually this person might come back around and tell the truth here, but also at the same time, Virgo, I feel like you don't need it. I mean, it's kind of like one of those things. It's like, okay, I kind of get it loud and clear. Like, you just don't want to be around me, you know? So I feel like you're not even, you're not even going to try or that you're not even going to, you know, you're just not going to be like desperate, you know what I mean? To seek out an answer here, okay? Because it's sort of like sometimes, you know, silence uh, just, you know, the be this behavior is kind of like, you know, you get the picture, you know? So the Magician, Gemini, Virgo here, tell me about the Ten of Wands in the reverse with the Two of Cups here, the Death card. And yeah, this person just dipped out for some reason. It's like one moment things were going really, 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 really great. And then the next moment, it was just like this person just dipped out. This person just dipped out. You know, this is so interesting, Virgo, because I, I, I almost find, even though this is like a hurtful thing, even though this is a painful thing, you're finding this as a blessing here. You're finding this as, okay, the universe might have stepped in and saved my butt from this individual because, you know what, maybe things weren't really going anywhere f f uh, with this person. But like I said, I don't feel like you're going to be seeking any sort of answers from this individual because, like I said, you kind of got it loud and clearly, loud and clearly here, okay? So the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Star card, Aquarius energy. I mean, this is your opportunity to sort of like focus on your healing here too. Focusing on your life's purpose here. Focusing on your work here, uh, uh, Virgo. Ace of Swords. Sort of like doing what you do best, okay? So the Ace of Swords here and the Ten of Pentacles. The Magician here. And the Nine of Swords. You know, I'm starting to get the sense that I feel like the reason why that this person might have dropped you here is because you are someone here who's very successful in their career. Your finances are great. And I feel like what's happened is that I feel like this person couldn't match up to you or that they just didn't feel like they were good enough because you were so so much more successful than they are because i just feel like 
in this person's life, in their career here, I, it's almost like I get the sense that they're just treading water. You know what I mean? That they're not really going anywhere. Yeah, they're not really going anywhere. You know, I feel like if this person was going through this, I, I just feel like you don't even care. It's like you're not dating their job. You, you, you know what I mean? So it's like you, you wouldn't have cared anyway. You know, I just feel like you would just have accepted this person for who they are as a person and where they're at in life and just kind of hold that safe space, that safe container for them to, you know, be themselves and to explore and see what's out there for them, right? When it comes to their life's purpose, the other work stuff here. So um, let's see, why did this person do this to Virgo? Why did this person do this to Virgo? Why did this person do this to Virgo? For July, 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. Five of Wands here and the Three of Cups. I feel like I feel like this person was listening to their friends and family. It's kind of like, why do you think that Virgo would like you? Look at where you're at. You know, uh, you're just at a different level. And I feel like this person really took their words into consideration instead of just going by, you know, what they wanted. You know what I mean? Sorry about that. Um, we have the Six of Swords here and a Chariot, Cancer Energy. Okay. And then we have the Four of Swords here and Eight of Wands. They will come back around and communicate. I, I do. I do get. I, I do get that with the Four of Swords here. You know that Four of Swords is like no communication, and then the Eight of Wands here. Someone here breaks communication. Um, but yeah, I do feel like the, one of the reasons that led to this is this person was listening to other people here. Five of Wands. The strength card, Leo energy, the three of cups, and the page of this person kept listening to other people here. Yeah, I I I, I just feel like you know, I, I I just feel like I just feel like this person just didn't give it a shot. You know, I just feel like this person didn't have that patience. I guess maybe. Yeah, I just feel like they didn't have that patience. They just didn't want to wait around and see. Um, but I, yeah, I just feel like this person was listening to other people. Six of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, the Chariot here and the Seven of Wands. If this person were to come back towards you, you already have this person blocked. You're not wasting any more time on this person here. You're especially not wasting any more time on someone here that can't stand up for themselves or speak up for themselves, you know, or go for what they want here or have that confidence. You know what I mean? The Four of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Eight of Wands here, and the Fool. They're gonna come. They're they're gonna want to come back around and speak with you. They want a new beginning here with you. But you're moving on from this here, Virgo. So we have the King of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles. This is a true pair, by the way. Yeah, I just don't see you wanting to go back to someone here that's not confident about what they want. So uh, Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.